pornography many times is a simply our medicating ourselves from loneliness, stress, boredom, and from things that are emotional. I want to, I want to read the verse right now to you. Second Timothy chapter two, verse twenty-two. It says, "Flee youthful lust, but pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace." And I never saw that before. That fleeing, I know, I knew what fleeing lust means. You know, run away from opportunities, and I'm going to mention that in just a moment. You know, flee emotion, uh, flee, flee, flee triggers. I knew that, but then it says what to pursue. I want you to notice righteousness, right standing with God. Number two, it says to pursue faith. What is faith? It's a positive feeling inside, up to optimism, confidence, love, that you are loved. You're not lonely. You're not stressed. You're not. You don't have anxiety. You don't have anxiety dominating you. And then it says peace. That means there's no stress there. See, if you run from lust, but you don't pursue getting rid of the things, emotional triggers, like boredom, like isolation, like loneliness, and like stress, you will find yourself in the grip of another sin. You cannot overcome pornography permanently if you don't deal with loneliness, stress, anxiety and boredom. Because many people, they run to pornography as medication and they numb themselves to pornography. And God wants to be the source of your strength. God wants to be the one who supplies, who supplies you with love, supplies you with peace and supplies you with righteousness in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, drop that number one emoji right now. Drop that number one in the comment below. If God is your source, if God is your source, say this with me right now in the comment below. Jesus Christ is the source of my joy. Come on. Drop that in the comment right now. Jesus Christ is the source of my peace. Jesus Christ is the source of my righteousness. Jesus Christ is the source of my joy. In Jesus name. In order to flee lust, you have to pursue, you have to pursue an emotional state with God. That's righteousness, joy, peace and love. You know, one of the things that happened with David is the Bible says it happened in the spring of the year, the times when kings went, when got, went out to battle. You know, kings go to battle and David is a king. He's supposed to go to battle. You know what David does? The Bible says that David, he decides to stay home. See, so this, this is what begins to happen. When you allow yourself to opt for boredom, okay? Boredom can lead to bondage. Why do many of us go to boredom? because we refuse to be involved in the battle with our brothers and sisters. We don't go to cell group. We don't go to church. We, we don't go hang out with believers and we, we isolate ourselves for a me time, which simply means browsing through the internet, which simply means scrolling through the TikTok, and then we start noticing things that are not good. We start Googling, we start looking at the trendy videos. So, so what happens is when we're not in a battle with our brothers and sisters, we opt to boredom. See, boredom is not blessed state. Boredom is not righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. We become bored and boredom leads to bondage. The Bible says that David was bored. You may say, David wasn't bored. Well, listen to this, 2 Samuel eleven two. 2. It says, it happened one evening that David arose from his bed and walked on the roof of his house. Let me ask you a question. How could he be sleeping all day? In the evening, we go to sleep. David wakes up from his bed. That tells me David wasn't doing anything during the day. He was bored. He stay in the community. Fill yourself with the love of the Father. Begin to be the person who fills himself. The Bible says, do not love the world because he who loves the world does not have the love of the Father in him. So if you have the love of the Father, the lust of the world is easier to overcome. Attraction to the world is fueled by the absence of the love of the Father. Lust thrives in the place that lack of love creates. Avoid boredom. Avoid running away from brothers and sisters. Go into battle with them. Stay in the community. Keep faith. 